on LinkedIn. And uh, I actually have a session this afternoon with the company and they've got some special guests coming in and I'm having a bit of a lag in my computer. So welcome to the world of resilience. Every day is a choice. I'm excited about that. So I'm sure it will figure itself out. <laughs> right? But I wanted to try my other camera angle just to double check I was right, but that's all right. This presentation is, and when we call it a presentation, really what it is is the lockdown lift up. And it's just, you know, it turns out about 10 minutes or so of me kind of sharing some ideas to keep you uh, inspired and going through this lockdown. And today is about trusting yourself. And uh, it's so critical in our personal development, our professional development, in our happiness, and uh, specifically as it relates to worrying a lot. And so we're going to talk about that a little bit. And I'd love to hear from you. If you have a comment, I can pull it up on screen. And if you'd like to join the conversation, I can also uh, bring you in. So fancy schmancy, Alison Graham. All right, so let's talk about trusting ourselves. You know, I, I think what ends up happening, and this is a lot from my own personal experience, but also with my coaching clients, is we get so caught up in whatever's happening. So whether it is our, um, you know, we're, we're dealing with some sort of an obstacle, and you can insert the blank on whatever that is in your life. And we get caught up in the emotion of it. And what we, it, it, what can happen is it can feel very, like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, it can feel like it's not you. Like, you know, you forget your own gift and your brilliance and how many things you don't, you don't have the objectivity, I guess is what I'm trying to say, to go and look back and go, yeah, I got this. I'm totally good. I'm totally fine. And I've been through this before. And I think when we can trust ourselves to deal with the good, the bad, potentially the ugly, in the moment that it happens, then we can stop worrying so much, right? For those of you who are worriers, uh, it definitely um, it can, you know, be something that. Oh, hold on. Am I out again? Oh, that was yesterday's. Anyway, hope hope you're still there. I just pushed a button and it did a bunch of things. It just went somewhere else. Ah. So I think that this idea of trusting yourself. So really, how do you do it? Because it's something I've struggled with over the years. And I think one way it shows up is, uh, as I've already mentioned, worrying. It also shows up at asking for advice when really you probably don't need it. You probably, if you sat back and objectively looked at whatever was happening, you'd be like, yeah, I've got this. I've done this before. I've been through worse things before. And so uh, how can we start trusting ourselves? Number one, it's about awareness, right? Uh, actually, well, if you use my problem solving framework, starting with situational awareness. So understanding the issue where you're not trusting yourself. What is really happening? And often the... There, there are two sides, right? There's the, the thing that's actually happened that is a problem. And then there's the potential for something to happen that could be a problem, but hasn't actually surfaced yet. Okay, so let's talk about this piece. Now, I know in weeks coming up, I'm going to be doing uh, worrying. We'll, we'll unpack that very specifically. We're going to talk about... Um, you know, how to get drilled down to what's actually happening. The ice cube that became the snowman. If you haven't heard that uh, metaphor that I use quite a bit, uh, let me know. But here's the thing. We want to look at the issue for the reality of what it is, which means we need to blast through all of the negative, poss possibly negative storyline, the catastrophization, the, you know, um, interpretation without fact, which often happens, and really get to a pen and paper. That's the way I like to do it is write on, you know, pen and paper. And, um, you know, we write it out what exactly is happening that I'm not trusting myself on. 
And the other piece here is really about the awareness. So that's the second piece in the problem solving framework. And so often we're not even aware that the reason we're feeling unsettled, the reason that we're not in our flow or feeling our absolute best is because we're not trusting ourselves. And so that awareness, figure out what that means to you or how that feels and what it shows up to. I know for me, it shows up as I'm going to call certain friends and sort of vents and, you know, get stuck in a loop on, you know, like not, uh, I mean, I probably don't do that, but you know, it just, it gets stuck on a loop. That's if I looked at it objectively, I'd be like, come on, Allison, stop. And so that's what I've been trying to do uh, over the last several months is be like, yeah, Allison, stop. (laughs) You don't need to uh, uh, do that. So that that's the first piece is so you well, the first piece is understanding the situation. The second piece is being aware that when you're not trusting yourself, what it's how it shows up and then maybe come up with some way that you're going to interrupt that and something to anchor what it feels like to trust yourself to deal with whatever this is in uh, a way that, you know, is just a quick thing. So it could be wearing, uh, and I know I've talked about this in the past, but like having an elastic. So sometimes if I'm getting into a rut with a barrier to performance and I want to interrupt it, I put an elastic around my wrist and it just reminds me like I just, it's just a simple little thing, right? I uh, am reminded to do the thing that I am trying to, or not do the thing that I'm trying to avoid. So there's that. Um, And I I think one thing that is, especially if you're really highly accomplished and there have been certain pieces of your puzzle that have come very easily to you, it is easy to forget how brilliant you are. It really is like in everything that you've been through. And I remember uh, when I was younger and I worked at the Salvation Army and uh, one of my mentors there, she said, you know, something you want to do. And by the way, I didn't do it. So if you're listening, you do it because I didn't do it. And I wish I did. Um, She said, take every, um, take every, yes, that's a landline. It's a landline ringing in 2021. I know it seems weird. It's okay. So take an inventory. Oh, oh, so anyway, her advice was to, um, when somebody gives you a compliment, sends you a thank you, whatever, take that and put it in a confidence folder. So you can, in those moments of self-doubt, pull this out and actually go, oh, right. And so if you haven't done that, like I didn't do that, I'm going to ask you to just take an inventory. Maybe sometime this weekend, if you've got a piece of paper in front of you, just go like, where have I been brilliant in my life? At what moments have I been really in this situation or in different situations where maybe I thought it was easy, but for other people, it may not have been. And so really thinking about that and having that list available to you. So when you're feeling that stress, right, or that um, lack of trust for yourself, that's when you want to be aware of what's happening. Look at the situation and clear away all of the noise and be like, okay, what is the deal with this? Right? And then look to that next stage of how can I remind myself about times in my life when I have either overcome something similar or, you know, rocked it and did this, or I could pull from this skill set or from that skill set. And when we trust ourselves, we're going to take more action. We're going to be bolder in how we show up. We're going to be more grounded in how we show up. We can laugh at ourselves a little bit more. You'll notice I do that a lot Um, because we're like, yeah, you know what? Even if something goes wrong, I trust myself to be able to fix it later. 
I trust myself that when or if something happens that I can process the emotions of that then. I know that if I lose this contact client, right, or um, I, you know, botch this sales job, there'll be something else that will come. Or I'll be able to recover with another possibility. And so that way of thinking just, it, it will just show up and you'll be able to really step into your true brilliance. I hope this gave you a little bit to think about today. I am going to uh, let my computer cool down before my next presentation. And with any luck at all, I will, um, well, I mean, I have contingencies, let's be honest, so I'll figure it out. But I uh, just hope you've had a really awesome day so far. And I can't wait to see you on Monday. I will shut down for the weekends because, you know, the new book coming out is called Take Back Your Weekends. And so don't forget to uh, catch the 20 second tips every day. Uh, and we're going to do this during the lockdown, 315 every day going live. And uh, really it's something I hope it offers you a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of idea, a little bit of hope. And for me, it keeps me on my game and knows that because uh, I know every afternoon I have to show up and have something to say. So that's important for me. And I am, uh, like I said, I'm going to do a talk for a client at four o'clock. So I'm super excited about that. And of course, if you have any conferences that you're planning or personal development or professional development days for your company and organization, please consider me. I, I think I can really help. And I, I do have a very structured talk <laughs> that I can do and a full online program, whereas these are just little snippets off the top of my head. Um, those are very much programs that you can uh, purchase for your, your company and organization to help people achieve all they do and still have capacity left over to, you know, take some free time and really enjoy their lives. And it, of course, increases productivity and innovation and all those different things. So uh, really excited to be here and hope you have the best weekend so far of 2020. And I will see you on Monday.